What? Who the hell are you, kid? My name is Ewan, and I'm not a kid. Kid seems about right for a pretentious little punk like you. Wow. The Regnant Knights sure do live up to their reputation. What did you just say? Oh, look. The next item is up for bid. Next up is a very rare blue pearl cultured from a wind towel shell. Man, that's a real treasure. It's worth way more than that face. The starting bid is 3,000 gold. Do I have any takers? 5,000 gold. Are you crazy? 5,000? Just watch and learn. I'm gonna make a small fortune off of this. 5,000 gold. Do I hear 5,500? I bid 5,500 gold. Hey, kid, you sure you didn't add an extra zero in there? Don't worry about me, old-timer. Didn't anyone ever teach you to respect your elders? Six thousand. Six thousand five hundred. <clears throat> Why, you little... Picking a fight with this child? How can you call yourself a knight? Kids, women, who cares? If they want to fight, I'll fight them. Ten thousand gold. Ten thousand gold. Anyone else? How about you, young man? The market value of that blue pearl is around 9,000 gold at best. I would never pay 10 for it. I'm done bidding. What? Hey, old timer, if you think that pearl is worth 10,000 gold, then you should be happy. You have a keen eye, remember? You little punk, you jacked up the price on me. Oh, and that vase was a knockoff. You should study up before you participate in any more auctions. Maybe I'll see you around. Rusty, you were, as they say, just taken to the cleaners. That little bastard. Commander, lend me some money. Very well. You can pay me back later. Atta boy, Commander. I knew I could count on you. There's no need to thank me, Rusty. I will simply take it out of your paycheck. With interest, of course. <laughs> we have wasted enough time. Let us go to the... And now... Back to music class. What's going on guys? I'm your host with the most, the wickedest joker in all the land, and today, today, we are back with more Stella Glow. But before we get started, if you guys go ahead and ninja the crap out of that like button, you already know that your support is appreciated, so... Last time, last time... Last, I don't, I don't even remember what we did last time, so, um... This will be, oh yeah, we went to the Windy Hills, and, uh... Uh, Tits McGee, like, stepped on a trap, and yeah, so we were looking for the Wind Witch, and, uh... Yeah, so the, we're looking for the Wind Waker, so, um, and then we went back to the capital city, and then Lizette's all like, Otto, are you there? And then we're, we're back where we are now, so, how you guys doing? I'm fine. Yeah, what's up? I have a message from the commander. Our supplies won't be replenished for a while, so we'll have some free time until he calls for us. Okay, thanks. No problem. See you later. There are many people here, as usual. It's hard to get used to. I wonder who I should spend my free time with. The auto! Well, if it is an auto. <laughs> Good timing. Follow me. Uh... Okay. Red Bear Tavern. Well, Welcome! How are you doing of this day, the fine day? Dude, he's got sunglasses. Hey, Kayash. Rusty, what's this? Flying solo today? What is this place? I've never seen anything like it. This is the Red Bear Tavern. It's the place to see and be seen in Lambert. I'll take a beer. Whoa, Rusty. You're going to drink this early? Don't be such a weenie. It is a tavern, after all. That's right. I'll oh. get you some milk, kiddo. My name's Alto, and I'm not a kiddo. <laughs> a kiddo with an attitude. I like that. The name's Kayaj. I run this joint. You see, I'm a free spirit. I traveled the world when I was younger. I tasted all kinds of food, drank exotic liquor, collected antiques, and soon enough I was able to open up my own tavern. Wow. You can stop by whenever you have some free time, Alto. Uh, I can't drink. I'm underage. You don't have to drink to have fun here. 
Plus, you can make yourself some money. Money? How? I can hook you up with some jobs posted on the bulletin board. You really do a lot around here. If there's a job that interests you, be sure to check it out. A freelance job, huh? Sounds like fun. Let's see here. Tutorial. The Red Bear Tavern. You can find part-time jobs in the Red Bear Tavern. By accepting these jobs, you can obtain money and other items. Similar to Knight's Barracks, you can only go to the tavern during your free time. Free time times three. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to my job. I will talk to you. Yo, Alto! How's this been working hard, kid? You know the things with the things. You know you can get to know the shopkeepers by doing the part-time jobs, right? Well, if you end up with the besties with them, maybe they'll give you some kind of discount, Otto. That's his voice. That's that's what his voice should be. I mean, dude, this guy's so ripped, right? Like, he could have a voice like that because he's so ripped. His shirt buttons aren't even buttoning right. I mean, like, look at that. Look at that. Let's see what kind of part-time jobs. What do you want to do? Let's see. This pays a thousand gold, and it's for Bianca, and we all know Bianca's cute. So, what does cute little old Bianca need? Bianca needs help. I need a part-time worker to lift some cargo for me. Handsome men only. Bianca. Let's see. Work on cleaning. Friends, a thousand gold reward. Part-time job offers. I need someone to clean the store. It's okay if you don't have experience. Just start with the basics. Keiji, Kaji, Koji, Kojiaru. Thousand gold. Recruiting part-timers. First, I need a server. Edumacation and experience don't matter. I'm gonna put you to work anyways. <laughs> there, there's laughing there. There's there's laughing there. I, I don't know why he wrote laughing in his job offer, but there's apparently there's, you know, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go work with Bianca because you know you know she sells weapons right and she's cute so like that's a win win. Better work hard. Welcome, new part-time job. Oh, it's you, Otto. Is there a problem? KJ! He told me I should be looking forward to a new part-timer he got me. I thought I was gonna get some mega hottie. But I have you instead. Aw. Aw. I just came here because KG told me you had some work for me. Uh, whatever. I guess I can still use your help. So, what do you need me to do? For starters, I'll need you to organize my storage. Got it. Alright. Let me know when you're all done. Thanks, Punches. <laughs> um, okay. Wee I'm beat. Not too shabby. Well, I'm used to dealing with weapons. In that case, I may have to ask for your help again. These things are way too heavy for frail little, for, for a frail little girl to carry. Frail girl? I don't see a frail girl anywhere. What's that? No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. No, it's best for the store clerk to not have to do any of the hard labor. Anyways, if you're having money problems, don't hesitate to stop in again. You mean so I can help you slack off? Come on! Don't be such a stick in the mud. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your pay for the day. <laughs> Free time. Times two. I guess it wants me to take more part-time jobs. What do you want to do? Let's see what else I can do. Come again. Good. New goods are available at Bianca's Armory. New goods are available at Frost. Cool. Uh, 
Uh, let's go to the night barracks. Let's see who's in the night barracks. So we got... We got Klaus, commander, age 25, home, Lambert, the 9th regiment's commander, best lance user in the kingdom. He loves reading in his free time. Rusty, job, scout, age 24, home, desert, camp. Apparently desert camp is a place. Personal information. A royal knight scout, he's skilled in battle, but is looked down upon within the knights due to his womanizing nature. Dude, Rusty sounds like he'd be fun. Let's go hang out with Rusty. You talk to Rusty. Hey, Rusty. Are you going somewhere? I've got free time. Who would want to stay all crammed up in here? I can't believe some people just stay in and polish their <laughs> weapons. Hey, want to go to the dining hall? I have something I want to talk about. Just stay in and polish their weapons. If you know what I mean. You've been good so far. Go on, order something. Of course, I'll be having a drink. But I'm alright. What did you want to talk to me about? <laughs> well, there are some things I can't mention with the ladies. Oh about. my. Anyways, seems to me like you haven't been having much fun these days. Well, why do you say that? That Lizette girl's got you wrapped around her finger, man. I bet you don't even know how to play <laughs> the city game. What do you mean? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. The day doesn't end at sundown here. There are tons of ways to have fun. This is the going exactly where I great, think it's going. You're just about training, drills, meetings. A man can't exactly. like that. You need yes. to learn some. Um, it's not bad to go out, but that's not what I'm here man, to do. You're way man, too uptight. You're way too uptight. I knew I needed to talk to you. I knew I needed to talk to you. Just think of it as fate. It's my job as your elder to guide you. Come on, Rusty. What do you really want? Hmm? What I want is for you to learn about some adult fun. The last thing we need is another tidy ball. Oh. You know what oh, I mean? Oh my. So that's it? Adult fun? Mm -hmm. Adult fun? Mm-hmm. I don't want to have to deal with any more uptight asshats. But you're still young. You don't even know the meaning of going out yet. In which case, I'll just need to teach you. Uh, okay? I guess? Come on. The girls aren't around. Just be straight with me. You're way past puberty. Tell me you're not interested. Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't, but I'm getting a really bad feeling about this whole thing. Eh, fine by me. The adult world is full of all <laughs> sorts of bad. Then it's settled. Oh You'll god. Be my student from now on. You just want to make me do Oh that. my! Don't you? Do I look that evil? I just want to show you some fun. Well, I'll be on my way. No need to hurry. Huh? Where are you going? Meeting up with a Duh. lady. Duh. You'll be ready in no time. They won't be able to keep their hands off of you. You sense a bond forming with Rusty. You're not actually sure if this bond is a good thing, but it is forming, and you know. It's just, uh, he's a rogue, so remember, he likes it from behind. Or likes to give it from behind. Anyways, he takes it from. Takes you from behind? Oh god! <laughs> I'm making all these gay butt sex jokes, and then he gets infiltrate. So I'm done. I'm done. The game did it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Dodge support. Nice. Rusty has acquired the new support effect to increase the evasion rate for adjacent allies. I didn't read the other one because it was on auto scroll, and I'm a derp. Let's see, Archibald, now nah, we've, we've already bonded with Archibald and learned how to polish our weapons, so... Let's see, said the blind man as he picked up a hammer and sold. Let's go see what Bianca's armory has. I don't think this will Welcome, take away our free time, so while we're here, let's just what take a like? look. Uh, pleated sword, stats two, hmm. How much gold do I have? Oh, I have... 5k, so... Do I want it? Eh, yeah, I want it. Thanks. Sure. Thanks. Power stone. Luck increased by 5. Increase HP by 20. Yeah. Thanks. Do you want to sell you? Nah, we'll keep that. 
healing herbs. Healing herb two. Uh, no, I haven't needed that much on a healing herb, especially because she can heal really well. Okay. A masterpiece made by the famous craft by a famous craftsman, not the famous craftsman. We we'll go ahead. And oh God, that was expensive. Camisole, yes. Okay, she doesn't need that. Can he buy it? Noble Lance. And yeah, no, that'd take all our money. Nah, he's good. I think the only one that I would want to buy something for Rusty is the the one that increases your luck. Thanks. Ah, uh, and that's about it. Let's talk to her. Hey, are you going to the Windy Hills? That sounds amazing! Sigh, I'm so jealous. So what souvenirs do you can bring back for me? See you later! See you later! I don't know. Let's go here. What, what is this? Talk. Thank you for your continued patronage, Otto. Thanks! I've reset. Yeah, yeah, this is, I've already seen this. I have already seen this. My cat's in the background, like, doing stuff and or- Okay. Feist, yeah, what I've already- like? So you have nothing I, I want. Next now, do I explore, or- See what's going on in the Knight's Barracks. Okay, it's just- No, 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 we don't want to talk to Archibald. Uh, we can go to the Red Bear Tavern. Welcome! What See, we did do? just spend all our money. Let's see. I'm just trying to think of if it's worth it. Or if I should go exploring. This is a guaranteed thousand gold where exploring could turn up items, but they could not be that great of items. Especially early on, I think money is worth more than a random fucking item that you could get. So, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Better work hard! Sapato! It's rare to see you here all alone! Don't worry, I won't serve you any alcohol. Want me to get you a little glass of milk or something? Uh, that's not why I'm here, right? I came to ask about the part-time job. What? You want to work here? <laughs> That's good to hear. I'll give you fair warning, though. It ain't going to be walking park. That's how you say. Uh, r really? Don't worry. I'll give you some easy work to do. You get your sea legs under you, as they say. Before we do the heavy lifting? Yes. Um, okay, I'll try. Alright, follow me. Q. <sighs> That's it. Not bad, not bad at all. To be honest with you, I thought you were going to collapse, cause... So how skinny you are, they say? Maybe? No. Uh, well, I, I am a knight. I like your style. Come back soon, Otto. Yeah, I, I will. Well, use your cash for day. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to start doing is just give them radically different voices when they're um, in the, the free time, when they're not talking. Because if you haven't noticed, everybody kind of sounds the same. Sorry, I'm late. Alto, we were waiting for you. We've just finished restocking our supplies. <laughs> Guess it's time to head out then. That evil witch! I, Archibald, will defend her, defeat her myself! Uh, that's what I meant. You can't... You, you can't hurt her! How are we going to look for her? Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of ground to cover, bro. We'll set up camp, and that'll act as our headquarters while we search for her. One of us must remain at the camp at all times to keep watch. And who's that gonna be? Glad you asked! That's a job for you, noob. 
of course. We'll all be counting on you, Otto. Oh wait, we'll all be counting on you, Otto. Now then, we shall depart for the Windy Hills once we have completed our preparations. But I'm the main character, I can't sit in the camp. I have to go and do the things. Alright guys, you know what, this is going to be a short episode on the account that we actually did like a lot of things here and then I don't want to get into a battle that's going to be like 20 minutes long and stretch this video out to like, you know, 40 minutes to an hour or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and end it here right now, so let me know what you thought in the comments below and like always, stay frosty guys.